What's going on everybody, Beastly Gamer here. I know you guys would rather see some gameplay instead of my ugly mug, but I'm here to talk to you guys today about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's multiplayer reveal. I just watched it. Uh, Major Nelson and, and gang got together and they showed us this game and I gotta say I'm really excited about what I saw. Uh, I'm not depressed. I think this is gonna be fun and it'll be very different. That's the thing. So. Do you want different? Do you want change? Do you want the old thing? Do you not want Call of Duty anymore? Those are questions I'm asking you guys. But from what I saw, it looks very different. I'm going to give you guys the, my impressions of what I saw. And I want you guys to leave me the comments of what you think about this uh, multiplayer reveal. Because I'm really intrigued to hear what you guys got to say. Graphically, I got to say, the character, model, the character models look really great. Um, they have this character lobby where you can actually... Uh, customize your character to look how you want them to look and so really everybody's character will look very different um, the way they, they animate the way that they jump everything looks very um, they spent a lot of time on this the stages they showed four multiplayer maps uh, there's a lot of moving parts but they you can tell that they put a lot of attention in the detail you know there's double in the details there's a lot of stuff going on on these stages but it looks really good it doesn't look cartoony it doesn't look like Titanfall it looks looks better. It looks a lot better than these, these other uh, first person shooters that are out right now. So uh, I'm intrigued on, on the graphical front. It looks really good. Uh, this exosuit, which is like the suit from the movie Elysium with Matt Damon, has these you know poles that go down your arms, it's attached to your body, attaches to your fingers and attaches to your toes, makes you extra strong, it makes you jump uh, you know, extra high, gives you a double jump, uh, makes you uh, extra fast, and you can actually tweak the suit. You can add you know perks to the suit. Uh, like for instance, a double jump. You can actually add a perk to that double jump that allows you to hover in, in midair. That's what Not Too Nerdy was actually seeing. Well, that lets you sit in the air and take out enemies. So it all depends on your play style. You can also they have a new kill that allows you to jump up in the air and come down and crash on top of an of an opponent, which is their new uh, kill. So this suit is very um, customizable. You can do so many things with this suit and, and really tailor it to your to your play style. So I'm excited to see that. Stage events, uh, which are kind of like, I forget the name they gave them, but uh, kind of like Battlefield, um, where um, Levolution, uh, they showed the tsunami that came through, and you guys saw that in the previous Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, trailer. The tsunami comes through and takes out half of the stage, and it looks really good. It looks kind of, it looks foreboding at least to see it coming, and you double jump and maybe hover in the air and you're out of the way until it recedes. Stuff like that's going to continue in the game, and um, I'm excited about that as well. They have a new, do you guys remember the Pick 10 system from uh, Black Ops 2? That is probably the one thing in Black Ops 2 that made me feel like this was my experience. The Pick 10 was something that I knew very little people in the world had the exact same setup that I did. I mean, because we're all individuals. They've taken that and they've added three, Pick 13 system, which allows you to pick all your weapons, your perks, your exosuit perks, your kill streaks, or you can focus all on one thing. You can just have a badass gun. You know, a gun that kills a one shot, tracks enemies. Who knows what kind of stuff they're gonna have? But it's a pick 13 system that'll make this game unique to you. It'll make it feel like, okay, this is my game, kind of the same way they did with uh, Black Ops 2. That's the one thing I gotta say over Black Ops 2 had over Ghost, is that you could pick 10, and this pick 10 system was all yours, and it made me really excited. So we got pick 13 coming, and uh, I think that's gonna really make the game unique to each player. Um, they got. Returning modes coming from the original games, of course you got uh, Team Deathmatch, you got Capture the Flag. Uh, they got Hardpoint returning from Black Ops. So you guys remember Hardpoint in Black Ops 2 where you have to contain an area and protect an area from the enemy and there's uh, red and blue lines going around it so you know which area you need to hold. That's going to be returning, so that's a big favorite from the Black Ops series and a lot of people are excited to see that coming back. They showed a new multiplayer mode called Uplink where you're running around with this sphere, only way I can describe it, and you run to the enemy uh, camp and they have this machine in the sky, you throw the sphere into it and it uplinks into their to their, to their their machine and you get a point. Now if you double jump into that sphere you get two points and if the enemies are attacking you and you throw the sphere to an enemy they lose their gun. They're weaponless and you can kill them and pick up the sphere and continue. So I think that will add a new degree of strategy to the multiplayer modes. No infected so far, guys. I didn't see anything about zombies or anything like that, so we'll see what kind of stuff they, the Sledgehammer adds to make this game their own. The last thing that, that uh, I want to talk about is this new Zero Mode. You get the game 24 hours early if you pre-order it. 
So if you've already pre-ordered the game and you didn't know this, they just announced it today. You can get, you get the game one day early, which I think is the third. You get to get the game a day earlier than everybody else. Well, the third is what they're advertising. So that's another good thing that they're doing to see who's going to buy the game, to see how many pre-orders they're going to get so they can gauge the amount of sales. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare looks really fun to me. Uh, I saw them cloaking today. Uh, so I don't know if that'll be uh, something that breaks the game. A lot of people are really um, worried about the potential of cloaking in the game, uh, you know, fucking up the balance. Uh, but the cloaking I did see today, they were able to pull the visor down and uh, see the heat signature of the enemy. So we'll see how that works. But overall, I'm really excited about Advanced Warfare. Uh, it looks like a breath of fresh air to me. It looks like something new and something tasty. And I like tasty stuff. So uh, you guys comment down in the comment section below, did you watch the, the Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal? And if you did, let me know what you thought about it down below. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys.